Howdy folks, we're talking about addict mold, the causes and common misconceptions and even the improper approaches to it. Uh, here's a common problem at the eve, you have mold build up uh, right at the eve, it's very common, it's the least insulated spot on the home. Uh, it's an area that usually you want intake ventilation, but there's very little room for insulation there. Unless this area is detailed properly with baffles and uh, with foam insulation, spray foam insulation, you will have problems. Uh, as you can see in this diagram, the insulation is, it, there isn't much there. Uh, it's a very weak area. Uh, and when you combine uh, the, the intake air from the outside and the air that leaks from the conditioned space right through that bypass at that corner, when they collide, you've got condensation like your breath on a windshield in the wintertime. You have liquid moisture, which spurs on mold growth. It mats down your insulation. Com uh, compounding this problem is a, the shrinkage of all framing materials in the home. When that frame and lumber shrinks at all the ceiling and wall joints, it creates a bypass. Uh, th there's no longer a, a tight seal there. Uh, that's a, here's a partition wall where the wire... Uh, Electrical wire comes through the top, that's a bypass. You've got your top plate gaps on each side of that partition wall where uh, that that uh, top plate has shrunken down and caused uh, moisture to um, come through from the heated space. There's a stovepipe air bypass, uh, big gaping hole in the insulation. Insulation is not going to plug that hole. You need a vapor retard or vapor barrier on the warm side of insulation. Here's a recessed light. They're terrible. They're the worst thing in the attic. If they're not covered and insulated properly, the old ones you can't even insulate. Uh, air sealed. Here's attic access. Every attic access is a potential problem because warm moisture laden air gets pumped through there and it hits, rises up and hits the, uh, uh, cold roof sheathing, again, like your breath on a windshield in a winter morning inside your car, that warm moisture-laden air condenses and liquid moisture is realized. Uh, the furnace pumps it up, of course, has uh, a humidifier attached to it. you got to check that out. Washing, your basement's a big question mark. Cooking, showers, uh, two to four gallons a day uh, from the average family. you really got to check that basement. We'll talk about that on another video. Uh, today's industry answer, the answer has been to add additional insulation and to rectify the uh, ventilation, but that's not going to do it. Uh, you still have mold in attics with proper ventilation. Ventilation is not going to do it. The insulation causes a, uh, the attic to be cool, cools it right down. When the outside temperatures are dropping in the wintertime, there's no convection. The attic is stagnant. That's not the end of the world, but you can't get passive ventilation when the temperatures outside are dropping and it is actually, uh, you know, colder inside than it is outside. Uh, you're not getting anything. It's not going to happen. Okay? Um, that's a problem in the industry. Power uh, ventilators will work in this situation. The ventilation is fine. That's not going to cure a moisture problem. Uh, if you add insulation without checking those bypasses and without doing the air, proper air sealing, you're going to cause a bigger problem. Imbalance, there's a tremendous imbalance that occurs when you cool down that attic and you still have that heated space. That pressure just pushes into that, into that lower pressure area from the conditioned space. So those bypasses actually become steam geysers. When you go up in the attic in a cold attic that's been re-insulated over the top, it's very common. We get the calls. All of a sudden, folks got massive amounts of moisture, frost on the nails in their attic, wondering what is going on. Their new insulation is being ruined, ruined, matted down by the uh, by the moisture. Uh, and mold is, uh, gets kicked up there, too. Uh, as soon as it gets warm enough for that mold, it's going to uh, spiral out of control. Uh, these geysers, that steam geysers, you can go up in the attic and witness it for yourself if you put insulation over the top of old insulation and haven't done the proper air sealing. If you had trouble there before, you're really going to have trouble uh, a lot worse. That 
moisture condenses, falls down on that new insulation, it gets matted and moldy. So your plan of action is going to be find the source of your moisture, whether it be in the basement uh, or, or in the living area. Uh, check readings on a hygrometer continuously in the living area and the basement. Mitigate the moisture problems to remove the mold. Air seal, air seal, air seal. Uh, seal that ceiling um, with a vapor retardant paint. Then you can go on to adding that insulation and doing the ventilation. I hope all this has been helpful. Continue to watch our videos. Have a great day.